it's a beautiful day, but we're not in Havasu. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so uh, we're headed for Quartzsite, if we can ever get there. I talked Brad into hitchhiking like, like hippies. And uh, I don't know, if a car would come by, we could put our thumb up, but. We're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody for hours. But uh, we're gonna work on catching us a ride down to Quartzsite. We made it to here through one ride, but they didn't want us filming, so we didn't film with them. Maybe we can film with this second ride, and uh, we'll show you what we're going to do. Brad, how do you ever expect to catch a ride if you don't have your thumb up? I will when there's cars. Um, Sign says Quartzsite, 21 miles. Good thing we're not going to Yuma, yeah. right? Stop. Well, if there was more traffic on this road, it looks like all the traffic's going the other way. Yeah, we could definitely get a ride the other direction. Yeah. Everybody's trying to get out of Quartzsite. Oh, push it. Whoa, oh, hey, whoa we got a stopper. This van's stopping. Check this out. Heck yeah. Dang. Hey, it's a girl in a van. What's up, y'all? Well, we're, we're trying to get to Quartzsite. That's where I'm heading. Well, heck yeah. If you can give us a ride, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I need the company. Cool. Oh boy. Let's get in. Right on. What's I'm your Brad. name? I'm Summer. Nice to Summer. meet you, Summer. I'm Merlin. This is Brad. Merlin. And uh, Brad. we're uh, we're just trucking, trying to uh, get down to the uh, down to the impound yard to buy a car. Really? Merlin. Yeah. Why are you going? Look at this van. Dude, this What's van is cool. Here? This is a clunker too. A clunker? Yeah. This thing is awesome. Well, it's better than what we have. You can't roll the window down. We, it's a good thing yeah, I thought you got. I, I like, does the door never work? I like, I feel like I'm in a Tijuana taxi right now. It was it's better, like, than, <laughs> better than the Shootabakers. Better than the Shootabakers on your Lambrafinis? We're lucky we have AC. Oh, yeah. AC's good in the desert. made our destination thank you for the ride summer you are very well and uh you have a good day out there safe journeys and uh we're gonna go get our piece of junk here and see if we can get back to havasu all righty we've made it here to quartzsite to everett towing and uh check this thing out look at the bullhorns look at the bullhorns on this Yeah. You gotta see what's the it, sign. What does it say? Crown Victoria. Crown Victoria. <laughs> I love it. This thing is sweet. So anyway, Everett's towing. Been in business forever down here. And uh, we're trying to purchase a car out of their impound yard. So... This is their their shop and their main tow yard. With Mark, Mark, who are you related to in this operation? How do you run this program? Let me I, let me know what's going on here. I am the oldest grandson of Everett. Everett is the owner that started this back in 1979 with my grandmother Jeanette. She still works in the office, and I am in the process of trying to take over and run the business so that my grandpa's legacy lives, lives on, on for another few decades at so least. So you guys have two two tow operations right right we got this one here in quartzsite and then we got another impound yard out on vicksburg road okay vicksburg road cool yep. 
So, uh, yeah, Mark's a fan of the channel. Absolutely. And uh, I, I met one of his tow truck drivers, uh, Glenn Love, <laughs> and that's kind of how I first found out, you know, I, I knew about Everett Towing because, I mean, if you're local to this desert area, you know about Everett Towing. But um, they're always hitting me up for some of these uh, <laughs> basically projects that are probably going to the crusher and seeing if I'm interested at all. But anyway, they come across something cool the other day and uh, I managed to make a deal on it and they saved it for me and we're gonna go check it out um, after we take our tour of the yard. So this is a, what, what kind of shop do you run here? I mean, obviously so, you do mechanic work here. You have a mechanic on duty. We have three at, at the current moment, once summer actually hits and all the snowbirds kind of leave, it might drop down one or two. But uh, yeah, we got three mechanics, three bays. We do anything and everything except for RVs and big diesels. Um, we don't really have the facility for that. Right. But, and towing. Yeah, obviously we, towing. You can tow them in and fix them and send them on their way. We're the oldest shop in town, oldest company. Um, so are there other repair shops in? Yep, there's in Quartzite? one other actual repair shop and then there's a tire shop on the other end of town that does okay. both. They kind of okay. dabble in a little bit Tire and repair. Yep. Well, this is pretty cool. So Thank this you. is this is kind of off the beaten path a little bit. What is this road that runs out here? This what is, is Plymouth. So this is Plymouth Street. So we're over off of Plymouth Street and Quartzsite. If you ever broke down in the area, you want to stop in and say hi to Mark. Cheer, cheer him on for taking this project on. And or if you break down on the highway, give us yeah, a call. Yeah, you break down anywhere in the area, they'll send the flatbed out and pick That's you right. up. So pretty and cool. Up, up to Class C's, we can, we can yeah, I see that. Class C with the big red over there. Yeah, I see that. That's the one Glenn likes to drive That's on. That's Glenn's baby. Yeah, that's, yep. uh, yeah, I knew that was Glenn's baby because yep. uh, he's talked about that quite a bit. Yep. Cool. Well, we're just going to check around and uh, see what you got going on here, and then we'll go see what we purchased here. <laughs> It's a fine machine, let me tell you. So these are the pearly gates. Yes, sir. We're going through the pearly gates. Dude, you got another four-wheel drive. What's the Cadillac? So I had gotten that. What, what the I'm hell, Mark? Make... You're holding out, and you've got a Jaguar. I'll sell it to you 800 bucks. A Jaguar? It's got a V8. For $800? What? Is it got a V8 Chevy? No, it's got a V8 Jaguar. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Dude, you got a Country Squire wagon. That is mine, yes sir. Dude, I, I grew up in a wagon just like that that was green with wood There's grain. There's nothing cooler than an old massive wagon that goes fast. I don't know, that van was pretty cool. Brad, he's still talking about his ride this the morning. Man was awesome. <laughs> with with summer. So, uh, ooh, small block Chevy. So the story on this was uh, an old questionable feller around town used to run this thing and had run-ins with the law a few times. They finally got tired of him, ran him up to the jail. The car ended up at a buddy of ours, Scrapper Dave. And I told him, man, I want that car, I want that car. We worked a deal, he gave it to me. When we first looked at it, the engine bay was complete. By the time he let me have it, it's how it yeah, sits they've, now. Yeah, they've yarded and parted. So I took a couple things out of it and I gave it to Matt. And Matt is making a bigger monster than I ever would have made out of it. But it's gonna be cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool old Cadillac 4x4. Love it. It's on a question. Well, you got a Willys monster truck back here too. What the heck? You're holding out on me, Mark. You're hiding all the good stuff. Hey, I told you about that. No, you showed me a picture of it. So I think like you I showed me you, a picture of it's it. It's a cab literally ratchet strapped. To a chassis. To a blazer chassis. Yeah, you need to get this going, Mark. This, this needs to be moved up your list. This is pretty cool. My girlfriend says the same thing. She's dying yeah. to get in this thing. It needs so. to be moved up your list. Well, guys. What do you think? This is this is what we've come here for. I don't even know. I'm just gonna leave it right there. You let me know in the comments what you think of this. We're gonna try to get it to run. And I don't know. 
I think me and Brad are going to try to drive it back to Havasu if it'll run. I'm not sure what all this is down in here. Let's look. Oh, it has a clock. And the clock is working. Oh, there's a gas tank up there. Still. Sideways. I don't know what this is. This is some kind of antennae. Some kind of antennae. It's got a locking gas cap. We'll have to deal with that. Yeah. Tires are a little rotten, but they'll be alright. It's got like little motorcycle fenders on it. Um, steering's kind of hooked up. I think it'll, uh, now what that is, that's the parking brake? Yeah, I guess that's the parking brake. Very interesting. Anyway, we're going to uh, start whittling on this thing and see if we can get it running. And maybe try to make it back to Havasu. <laughs> Ah, Brad, he's going to be so mad. We're going to be broke down the whole way. I love it. I just, uh, you can't even make stuff like this up. It's just good. Okay, so this thing. I don't really see a trunk. Brad made a <clears throat> crazy observation. It has a Volkswagen engine. But Brad is really disturbed on why it has a thermometer and a radiator. That is an actual radiator. Yeah, it's it's not just for looking. It's it's, it's a, a radiator. radiator. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what it's hooked to. I don't know. I do not know. There is some room up in there, but I think if it gets up in there, it's lost. Like it's gone. What is this? What's all this? Christmas decoration? That clock works. We better save that. Dude, that's kind of a cool clock. Yeah, what does it say? Three. Oh, dude, it tells us when high tide is. Oh. Yeah, what is that thing, that metal thing? We don't need it. We, we can take that out. I don't know. We don't know what we need yet. Dude, the pedal feels like... I might have to check the fluid That's in. good, because there's no e-brake. Well, I think there's one on this side. There's a spare washer. We may need that later. Somehow, we got to get to this engine. I don't know how this thing comes off. These are fake rivets in fiberglass. So, 1927 Bugatti. Oh, he gave me a key. He says this key kind of works. The thing a little... Oh, it does work, actually. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Well, the seat's a little bit ripped up. But we're going to try to figure out how to get this off. This thing is, I don't know, it's got a broken bolt or something. We're going to have to get up inside there and hold it or something. I don't know. Tail cone? So when we're broke down on the side of the road and I say, hey Brad, we lost get the, did you get the tail cone off? <laughs> the tail cone. It's got a tail cone. What else would it be? What is it? It's a tail cone. It's off. Fiberglass working up. The Volkswagen. This line's definitely questionable. Where's the where's the other fuel line? It's right here. Is it? Ooh, it's kind of sketchy looking. It's kind of way sketchy looking. Throttle's stuck halfway open. No spraying. It's kind of a kind of spring. What does the oil look like, Bradley? What do you got? It doesn't look horrible. 
it's a little low, but now it's good. Yeah, now it's good. Now it's good. Well, it looks like it's probably a little 1500 or something. That ought to get us about 10 miles an hour. What? All the tires. What is handle. this? Oh, that's the wires to the lights. To the light. All right. Well, let's have a look here. Battery. You think we have any battery? What are the chances of the battery being up? Feels smells good, huh? Ooh. Sounds like it don't have no compression. Sounds like it's it's just a wing in the motor. Wing, 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 no compression. Hold your hand over that tailpipe. What do you got? Tailpipe. Tailpipe? Yeah. Pumping air out? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, I think we need to deal with these fuel lines. evaluation of our current situation <laughs> what we've decided is uh, it's Volkswagen through and through <laughs> it's 1966 it's, Volkswagen it's Bugatti Volkswagen which makes it even worse Bugatti <laughs> the infamous Bugatti dude I got adjustable windows over here if you laid those down that's probably worth a couple miles an hour Okay, so I'm guessing there's probably no fuel in that tank. Can you reach it to thunk thunk on it? Oops, that's good, Jerry. Just tap on it. That sounds pretty empty. That's promising. Yeah. That's very promising, and it doesn't really stink, right? No, it smells like good gas. Well, I don't think we have a key for this cap, so I don't know that I really want to put it on. In fact, maybe we'll take it apart and pull the tumbler out of it. Um, let's dump a little bit of gas in it. Get the key and see if it'll fire. Gotta get gas going to it. Gas and we roll. I think we got us. I think we got us a way back to Havasu. Woo! All it is, all it is, is thirsty. Well, let me. Uh, I gotta get this line off. I either need to blow back through. Try it that way. I'll tell you what I hear. Now, like, I, the problem is getting a line off. This hose isn't the right stuff. And if I try to find some fuel holes. Hey, never mind. That's a good sign. The engine fired. It doesn't sound like it's knocking. It sounds like it runs on all four cylinders. All I did was just dump a little fuel down the throat. So now we're going to get this fuel system figured out. The fuel is really nasty yellow. So what we're going to do is put um, some ATF in it so it doesn't stick the valves. I just don't want to stick the valves on it. So other than that, I think this old girl is going to make it to have a suit. It looks pretty good. I don't know what all this wiring is here. And uh, we probably need to check the brake fluid. But uh, otherwise, I think we're pretty good. So I'm going to get in there and check the brake fluid. Brad's got some uh, ATF coming. He'll put the rest of the fuel in. We'll pull it up to the shop and air the tires up. 
I see no reason not to hit the road for Havasu. Let me know what you think if we're going to make it. bring everybody in close here. We'll give them a close up of the carburetor. So Brad, he's cleaning the oil out of the toolbox. I set the oil bath air filter on the tool bag and it filled it up with oil. Brand new bag. Brand new bag. Like I just barely, just barely put that together for this trip. Special for this trip. And this little car said, nope, not having it. It's got fuel in it. I didn't bring no rags, so we have one rag we're using that's going to be our gas cap that we found. Literally. So this is the idle jet here, but I think we're more plugged up than just the idle jet. seems to be free. Oh, it looks good. She's got a little gum in the bottom. A little bit of gum. preheating right now that's what the guy up front said we're preheating to run uh, the rest of the uh, snowbirds out of Arizona because it'll be 120 degrees here in another 30 days get her done I want to see if I can get it by okay go ahead and start it that problem having to get up to go shut it off that's a good problem to have that's our idle jet we'll go see if we can unplug these so we got a main jet an idle jet and I think both of them have got a little bit of blockage we're gonna go
Bugatti. The American dream, the Bugatti. This is, what is this? Is this French? They were originally made in Germany. Now it's French? I don't know. Look it up. Let me know what you think it is. Is it German? Is it French? Austrian? I don't know. It's idling. It doesn't run real great, but it runs good enough. I think we can put some air in the tires and head towards Havasu. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Going to town now. We got all, everything you need. What yeah. flavor? Dot three and a half. Dot three point five. Yeah, that'll work. And then uh, we need to adjust the clutch, Brad. Yeah. All right. So what do you what do you give our chances of making it? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Because it's Volkswagen powered. It what? might take us a minute, but it's gonna <laughs> we're gonna get there. We're no quitters. How about you guys? What what chance you give us? Being that you got it running as quick as you did. It's gonna I make say it. You're pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're good. I'm biased because I get to go. I get to go tow you if not. <laughs> <laughs> so we may see you again here yeah, in just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, you know this brake line over here. I got to show you guys this brake line. We put brake fluid in it. We stepped down on it. Look at this brake line fix. We got a hose clamp with a piece of wire. Got a hose clamp down here. It's all good. We're gonna pretend we didn't see that because it could blow up right there. That could be where our leak develops. But anyway, let us know in the old comments what you think. Are we gonna make it? Or are we gonna, I mean, we're gonna make it either on a tow truck or drive it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so, I mean, at least we got a clock. We can tell when high tide is. <laughs> like, hey Brad, it's high tide. We thumbed it down here. We can thumb it home. That's if we true. Have to. It'll leave the title on the dash and thumb <laughs> it back. So we're going to hit the road and uh, head for Havasu and take you to see some cool stuff along the way. See you guys. See you later. We just walked. <laughs> I got this. Okay, first gear. Boom. We're moving. Almost lost the phone. Yeah, I do that. I do that from time to time. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna have to take the fender over here. <laughs> is that rubbing on something? I'm scared to put my finger on it to lift Where, it. Which way is that? Uh, make a right. Dude, it's kind of throttle responding now. I'm afraid to touch the brake. Don't have no brakes. Hey, brakes are optional on Volkswagens. That's true. Drive till you hit something, right? Uh, this shifter is terrible. Worst Volkswagen shifter I've ever encountered. Hey, it's got oil pressure. Yeah. Like the pressure, all the gauges work. I don't dare shut it off. Do not shut it off. <laughs> Oh. I shut it off. I shut it off. 
Hey Brad, I'll get the windshield. Could you get mine? Yeah, sure, I'll get yours too. Thank you. <laughs> it was hard to see out of <laughs> Those windshields are awesome. Uh, I don't know guys, this may have been like the worst decision of, I don't know, forever. These, these, <laughs> thank you industrial, but these hats, they wrong catch choice for this they, ride. <laughs> they catch air, they do. So we got these hats so that we would be out of the sun, but I think we're gonna be wearing our, uh, our new free Everett hats. Um, thank you. Everett towing, Mark. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, dude, this thing had a top on it. It had a hard top on it. This nose cone, it may have to get left in the desert too. I don't know. This, this whole thing is, it needs brake work. I think we got one wheel braking. And if, if it comes down to it, we can dump water in the brake system because water's the safe thing to put in your brakes. If you ever run out of brake fluid, you can put water in your brakes. But we've got a leak on the front wheel over there. The rears, it sounds like you're throwing an anchor out when you step on the brakes. So there's metal on metal. It doesn't feel like that. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it has brakes. But anyway, we're gonna go in here and get us a cold beverage. And I wanna wash my hands maybe and prepare for our journey. Are you prepared? Like, what do we need? Jerky? Snacks? Some drinks? That's just something to drink? As we sit on the road and wait for the tow truck? I don't know. Gosh. Anyway, hope nobody steals that while we're inside. I'd hate to have to call Haggerty and report it. Okay, so audio just got interesting. I dropped the camera and the microphone. It broke. Let's see if I can show you this. Whoa, there it is right there. Broke that off. So it is broken off in the uh, Ichingaso. So we're, we got no fluff, fluff. My daughter calls this fluff. Anyway, so the audio is gonna be messed up from here on out. We do have a GoPro 360 we're gonna mount on here. We have some drone footage we're gonna do. These louvers, they're fake. They're fake louvers. But anyway, we're having an apple Danish and some Pringles. Pringles. We're gonna try to find some food before we roll out of this area and uh, We'll get back at you. Oh, my goodness. That was, that was priceless. 
Your fender's upside down. Let me see if it'll back up. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Just a little bit. Fender? Yeah, would you like a souvenir? No. Well, we, uh... Well, that was just a peat. Yeah, it did break it right there, didn't it? That bracket. Good thing is the, the brakes, uh... I don't think the brakes were working on this wheel anyway. It has the parking brake on it, and I think they drove with the parking brake on. Getting it. You want some smaller ones? I think I brought uh, some smaller ones. Nah, I think I got her now. I'm just getting her pinched over one more time. I think we'll be good. Well, we got a pretty good flat spot here. Yeah. Brad, he decided he's going to pull this fender off. We'll probably just leave him here. Yeah, we were just getting up to speed when. Uh, went south. Yeah, all hell broke loose. <laughs> I ride the 51 Grand Head, so... Oh yeah, you know what all hell breaking loose <laughs> is. Know you know all this. about that. Yeah. Okay. Well, attempt number two will we'll be rolling work. here shortly. Oh yeah, fire's got a horrible flash spot. Look, I think I saw. I'm getting out of this thing. Yeah. That's... I want out. It's happening. I want out of this car. Right. We're losing our marbles. <laughs> Brad, <laughs> Brad's lost his marbles. He's only got one marble left. This car is so hard to get in and out of. Yeah, I got a little brake fluid leaking here. Probably gonna have to pinch that a little better. Um, we stopped here to adjust the timing. But we're probably gonna have to fix the brakes because we got no brakes. When that fender came off, it chopped the only brake line that was probably working. And we're gonna have to get it pinched off, but I don't know. We are uh, gonna adjust the timing on the car. So, I'll set you guys up right here. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, we're just working on her. Yeah, we'll probably work on her the rest of the trip. Yeah, work on her all the way back to Havasu or so. Where are you guys from? California, Big Bear. Thank you. He's working on our brake line. We're trying to get it pinched off, and then we'll be on the road. All right, here we go with more of that bad audio. Sorry, I apologize now. I broke the microphone. Anyway, um, Brad's got our brake line shut off. Feeling pretty good about them brakes now? We're good. Yeah, he's, he's good, confident. We're we, better than we were. We were going to adjust the fronts, but they welded this plate to hold the fender over the top of the adjuster. Did you see the speedometer cable I was talking about? So this is the speedometer cable. The speedometer actually works. Oh yeah. 
and that's the speedometer cable coming out of the middle of the wheel. So the speedometer actually works pretty close to accurate. Anyway, we uh, we backed the timing down a little bit, so now we can kind of stuff our foot in it, and we're gonna head this way for a minute, and then get off this busy road, take you back country through the fields of Parker. And then we're going up the California side. And this thing, I'm telling you, this thing, you don't get in this, you put it on. Like seriously, like I have torn this here rubber molding, this rubber molding right here. I have torn this off a couple times. Will she start? Like a champ. Cars. You're good. Yeah, it felt brakes. <laughs> if you think that feels like brakes, Brad, you got another thing coming. That's the best we had all day. <laughs> clear, clear to the floor and nothing to happen. <laughs> I want out. <laughs> I want out of this car. Oh my goodness, we've been fighting a headwind and a crosswind and a sidewind and now we've turned. But look at that. Ain't she a thing of beauty? So yeah, look at this place. So what's the what's the story behind this place? There's like a there's like a story behind this. Wyatt Earp, does that sound right? The town's called Earp. Yeah, because Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp's family owned this. And it's called Earp, California. And there is population maybe two over here in this house. But yeah, it's pretty much an abandoned little set setup here. But this was like an old gas station. So they had a, a couple pumps over here, um, but uh, they were old visible pumps. They were bolted right here, big old tall things, but yeah, they've been gone for probably 50 years, but yeah, kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool old place. Watch for rattlesnakes. It's not really hot enough for them to be hiding in here, but you never know. You never know. But yeah, pretty cool. There's an old uh, pit here. Like, full of cars over here. And that's where they uh, basically would change the oil or whatever. There's an old leather shoe. But uh, yeah, nothing but trash, debris. This, I guess, was a, the shop. It looks like a garage, but that would have been the shop. I mean, I don't know. This was probably some kind of little general store. And then on around, here's the gas station. So, pretty cool.
Well, we've made it here to Parker Dam. Parker Dam, Brad. Parker Dam. Without a problem. Yeah, we can. We'll be in Arizona as soon as we cross that dam. We're still in California, but we'll be able to cross over this here uh, river and head right on up. Beautiful Lake Havasu back there. So Brad was uh, just pointing out this is the deepest dam in the world. When they, when they dug this dam out, they couldn't find bedrock and they just had to keep digging. And I don't remember how far they dug, but they went a long ways. The lake's only 80 feet deep, but the dam goes down a long ways to hold all that sediment back. But yeah, what a beautiful place. And this is the uh, Colorado River Parker Strip. Pretty awesome. The little car's doing good. We had something that was kind of making some noise. Not sure what it was developing underneath, we heard. But, ah, we're just going to keep going because our lunch spot is literally right over there. So we're going to stop for lunch. And then we're going to just kind of head on up the road. Tires are all cracked up. They don't look good, but we're just trying to ignore that. Um, I don't know. This thing's just so cute, it's ugly. The Freedom Express. First fuel stop. And I'm not sure we have to make it. <laughs> you think we could probably squeeze it to have a suit? <laughs> We're just in a bad spot if we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'd be in a really bad spot on the highway with no brakes, out of gas. So we're going to put some gas in it, just for the fun of it. 87. That's why I was pinging. I the fuel was we probably put some, uh, we probably put some 91 in it. be a lot better off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Apparently this fuel is sweet when you don't have it in there just right. Just below half tank, that's what we rolled into. Let's say it didn't evaporate out. We'll just let it evaporate. I think it needs some fuel filler work. Say the least fuel filler. I think the fuel filler is leaking. It looks like they just welded something to the original. Way up in there. Huh? Well, you can see it clear here. It's coming yeah. right out of the. Yeah. Where that, well, the way that cap twists on, like it's it's just all screwed up. Where that skinny neck goes into that first fat spot. Yep. yep. That's where it's coming out. So it looks like it's welded to the original cap and then twisted on. Yeah, and it's coming out the top of that. Like there's a. Almost like there's a rubber seal or something yeah, that's bad. Yeah, a hose missing or something. Yeah. Yeah, it needs a it needs a little filler neck work. Oh, pretty hard to... So, yeah, if you can get... So, what, what you were doing when you had the can earlier is you had it past that. Point. Yeah, and I was feeling slow and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we'll, we'll let it uh, develop. That bottle can go in the trash. So, we're going to get something to eat here at this station. I don't know what they got, but we're going to eat something. And... Uh, then we're gonna motor on up the road, see if we can make half a soup.
developing. <laughs> so we've made it into town. The wind's still blowing like crazy. And uh, we've lost a tire. We came around that turn back there. And I don't know, we've hit something. It's starting to kind of separate, come apart. I don't know if there's a nail in it. He's, uh, he's in bad shape. So I guess we're going to get to see if the spare's any good. Here's the spare. Merlin, the spare is no good. <laughs> it's better than what we got <laughs> over there. <laughs> if it'll roll. <laughs> I don't know how the hell we're going to pick it up. That's the problem wheels how cracked up they are they're so broken anyway they'll make it four miles four miles four miles an hour <laughs> with no brakes that's all we need yeah that's all we need right that's all we got to go unbelievable we lost that tire at the last minute like we could get home we just need to get the car home right now well we could probably drive it on that but we're just going to make the rim worse and Travis is just right here, so we'll we'll wait for Travis from Camel Towing to come and give us a hand, and uh, we'll get our spare on. We didn't plan on using our spare, but hey, at least it's there. It does have air in it, right? Yeah, it's it's good actually. Of course, it may come apart by the time we get home. He's like, you're in the road. I'm like, that means Ah, Travis, what are you doing? Besides saving my day. Isn't it sweet? 1927 Bugatti. <laughs> Replica. Replica. This guy doesn't just bring a jack. He brings the jack. I should have brought you a... Uh... Have brought your Model A when we did his shopping real quick. Yeah, I know, right? It's Model A, uh, Model A wheels on this thing. All minor. Short side to here, and this is where it gets a flat. with the wind. No, it's 13, 16. Yeah. That's just all I had was a 7, 8. Yeah, it's trying to, it's just trying to slide. Well, you don't need to worry about us. We don't even have brakes. <laughs> like, We don't even have brakes, Travis. We uh, lost our brakes. Yeah, yeah. A whopping 40 horsepower. Maybe even 36, I don't know. Little tiny pipe. Yeah, there's air. That's good. I haven't got a D-Walt air compressor in my other truck, so if there's no air, there, there could be an event. But yeah, we drove it from Portside. We got it from Everett's Towing down there. That's awesome. It is, pretty sweet. It was just an impound for sale. Yeah, it was the impound. And you drove it back and forth? Yeah. Hey, we didn't even know if it would run this morning. Neither did they. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, uh, yeah, we don't know much about it. Yeah, we did. Here. What are you doing? Did you come to change my tire? Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, are you really filming? Yes, I'm filming. Yeah. Say hi to the world. Hey, world. <laughs> it's a Volkswagen Bugatti. It's adorable. It went down to Portside, Arizona, made it run in a tow yard, and they drove it home. Three quarter. Yeah, it's quite the car. That's that's what the fender did that. It was kind of exciting. Actually, it was really exciting. I was laughing so hard I couldn't get the car off the road. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. I think, uh, that's, well, look, there's a radiator up there, Travis. It actually has a radiator. Was it going to cool your sodas? I don't know. We were trying to figure out what the radiator does. But it is a legit radiator. Or at least the core. Maybe it keeps the gas cool. Well, it needs it. The gas leaks. Woo! Maybe yeah, it's, yeah, maybe it's your, maybe it's your feet. <laughs> maybe it's like a heater core, but a radiator core for your feet. 
Yeah, with the thermometer. They thought that was pretty funny too down there. They were laughing. I'm not even gonna tell you what I'm driving right now. What are you driving? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't. I couldn't share that with you. If I would have said a Bugatti, your mind would have exploded, and then you would have laughed twice as hard when you got here. <laughs> oh, that's great. Why didn't you mount it on the? Okay, so look at this. It wouldn't fit. It's been drilled out. So this is your Volkswagen engine transaxle. You sit right over the the axle, but. So I've got a turbo kit for Volkswagen. Dude, this, here. this car, it don't steer. No. There's no, it needs weight in the front. Or you need a turning brake. Yes, it needs, a, that's it. it. Brad, a turning brake we'll put some, turn brakes on it. There you go. A turn brake on some hard rubber tires. So I was thinking, I want to put wide axles in it because I was looking for a set of these narrow axles anyway. And I want to put RZR tires on it and take it and do a video out on the island. Then I want to put like some street tires and take it to Chuckawalla and slide it out through the desert. This is fancy. They're Harbor Freight junk. They work really, really well. Fancy. They uh, they have those cushions on so you don't knock up some of these wheels. It, uh, huh? that in these are protectors yeah. so they don't mess up wheels. Yeah. Yeah. But they're most Harbor of time, Freight. Most of the time though, if you get really skinny wheels, you got to pull these off anyways because oh they don't clear. They're they're thick. Yeah, like I think a, we're good. They're thick like a socket. Distilling gear. Oh, he's got a block. This guy runs a tow yard. He knows how to do it. I was gonna say we're official. Well, I but guess uh, we can send uh, AAA the bill or something. I don't know. Hey, look at for AAA. <laughs> look at that back Yeah, that, that one's destroyed. Looking through the rainstorm is a good time. Two more miles and we'll be home. <laughs> Thank you, Travis. Camel bring, towing. Bring it home. And Happy, Crystal, camel towing. Happy to help, Merlin. Ram, did you think we'd make it? Did you think we'd make it back, huh? I know you just want to go attack the neighbor's, neighbor's puppy. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, not much trouble other than the flat tire. That was the major and the fender. <laughs> the Running fender. the fender over. That was a good time. Anyway, thanks for watching. speed racer I'm going to the river <laughs> Aww. what are you driving I'm driving a Bugatti what do you think of the little Bugatti I love it I'm going to the Le Mans in it Le Mans. Yep. <laughs>